A powerful storm bringing heavy rain, wind and snow is finally here and it's wreaking havoc across Northern California. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Alicia Machado. We start tonight on the storm watch Northern California well into this new storm complete with whiteout conditions up in the mountains because of the heavy snow officials urging if it can wait just stay home and we have a high wind warning so very likely we'll see down trees power lines and outages you might have seen them as you were out driving on the roads and of course the rain dumping on all of us long into the night and into the morning throughout the valley and we have team coverage tonight. Our GD to win is looking at all the impacts the storm is bringing, including thousands without power. And Garch Paul Sunga is standing by in downtown with a down tree forcing road closures. But first, we want to start off with our meteorologist Brendan Minchev tracking the movement of this storm and how long it's going to stick around, Brendan. Yeah, we've seen some pretty strong gusts already, Alicia, and it is still gusting out there. We've got at least a couple more hours of this. More likely these wind gusts stick around until about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. But uh, as of about an hour ago, here are some max wind gusts. Look at this, Point Reyes out along the coast. Almost 90 mile per hour winds there. San Francisco International Airport, 62. Mather, 62. McClellan, 61. Sacramento National, 60. Travis Air Force Base, 59. Sacramento Executive, 56. Modesto, 55. Stockton, 54. And Davis, 47. We have all been in on the wind this afternoon. We missed some of the rain in the valley. Uh, we just kind of ended up in kind of the dry sector uh, of the rain bands that moved on through. But in terms of wind, nobody is missing out across the valley. Current sustained wind speeds right now are about 35 to 45 miles per hour across the valley. Some of the gusts though, look at this gusting 52 Placerville, 48 down in Modesto, 47 San Francisco. We'll zoom in a little bit here around the metro area. Look at this gusting right now over 60 miles per hour. So that would then uh, change that graphic I just showed you. 63 mile an hour gust right now. Sacramento International, 63 at Mather, 51 Travis Air Force Base out there near Vacaville. Look at this, 48 Modesto, 51 Stockton, 44 mile an hour gusts out in San Jose right now. These gusts, uh, again, like I said, we still got a little bit to go here. So by 6 o'clock, still seeing that 45 to 55 mile per hour gust uh, model data there. Still continuing by about 7 o'clock, but by 8, we start to see it trend down just a little bit. 9 o'clock, closer to 40 instead of 50. And then between 9 o'clock and midnight is when we see those wind gusts drop closer to 30. We're going to stay gusty overnight, looking at 15 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts even through the morning commute tomorrow morning. So we still have a little ways to go with the wind and we still got that high wind warning. Still got a flood watch, winter weather, uh, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, a very active evening of weather. Uh, and I'll break it all down coming up a little later in the show, Alicia. All right, a lot going on. We'll check back in with you soon. Thank you, Brendan. And our team coverage on this storm continues now with our Jeannie Nguyen. She's live in Carmichael right now where a tree came down onto a house and crushed a car. Jeannie, what are you seeing out there now? Well, Alicia, as you could tell, it's very windy here, and I want to give you a look at what the what damage the wind has done right behind me here. You could see that this car, um, yes, like you said, crushed by this large tree, not only the car, but the house as well. Um, you could see there's extensive damage there. And you know, this tree falling over here, uh, essentially a trickle effect because it looks like a water line has broken. So if you take a look down, Mario's going to pan over uh, to the street here. It essentially is a little lake. Residents here are stranded inside their homes and a lot of residents can't get to their homes because clearly this road has been blocked off uh, by this flooding over here. Um, we have seen crews on scene uh, as we got here. They are assessing the situation, but you know, to make matters worse, um, nobody here has power and that's something that SMUD and pg &E has been preparing for. So they're hoping residents like the ones here in this neighborhood can help them by alerting them to let them know so crews can come out here and assess the situation. Improve myself and my health and my wellness this year and so I've been making it a goal. And so that's what I'm doing out here this morning in the rain. The rain and wind cannot stop Aurelia Trujillo from putting her fitness as a priority this stormy Sunday. I just came out of cycle bar class, a uh, spin cycling class. But with concerns of high wind, Trujillo says it's giving her flashbacks to last year's major storm that ended up causing a lot of damage in the Sacramento area. And we actually have a boat and an RV, so <laughs> we're doing all we can to make sure those are secured and don't fly away. And 
with the rain. Securing items at home is a tip PG&E encourages homeowners to do to minimize as much damage as possible when wind is a main concern. And make sure your patio furniture is either put away or secured. When we have high winds like this, we have seen um, stuff from the backyard flying into our power lines, even things as heavy as trampolines. And when it comes to trees, Smudge says it prepares year round to minimize the risk of fallen branches. We do vegetation management, meaning that we want to make sure that trees and branches around infrastructure like power lines are maintained in order to help prevent power outages um, on a day to day basis. And with thousands of people already experiencing power outages in Sacramento County, both SMUD and pg and &E say safety is first. When you see a down power line, please stay away from it. Call 911 as well because that is something that poses a public safety threat. As the storm makes its way through, Trujillo says she's going to try and be patient. I'm basically just going to try to wait it out as best as I can <laughs> and then come back when the sun shines out. You know, uh, SMUD and PG&E are urging everybody at home to uh, keep updated by looking at their outage maps, and we have posted links to those on our website at abc10.com. Alicia, back to you. All right, a very important reminder. Thank you, Jeannie. We can just see how powerful that wind is with the trees just continuing to sway around you. We'll check back in with you soon. Meanwhile, nearly 800,000 customers are out of power across the state. Sacramento County, at last check, has more than 170,000 customers without power, and there's no estimated time to get the power back up, but we will continue to keep you updated on that front. And these high winds are causing some major impacts. More than 20 flights for arrivals and departures canceled at Sacramento International Airport, and trees are falling, crushing cars and blocking some roads in our area. That's where we find our guards, Paul Sunga, in downtown Sacramento right now. And guards, Paul, we see that crews are hard at work where you're at. What's their progress like trying to get that road reopened? Yeah, Alicia, they're slowly working piece by piece to try to get that road reopened. And all of this, we're told, started around 1 p.m. So the wind isn't only causing flight cancellations or impacts, but it's also causing property damage here. So right now we're standing on 15th Street. This is between N and O, so crews are removing these trees. But you can take a look at just straight ahead there. That damage, that's just one of three cars that we've counted that was damaged by a tree branch that came down around 1 p.m. when those winds gusts were very strong. So that that's a car that suffered the most damage. Uh, there's a few cars that have, have had windshield a damage, a front hood damage. So that's sort of what we're dealing with here in the Midtown area. So crews are trying their best uh, to remove uh, at least a good portion of this tree so it doesn't cause any more damage as crews are busy at work. So they've made a lot, a lot of progress over the past few hours and uh, this place actually looks much better than it did just a few hours ago. But obviously for some people, the damage that this storm has caused uh, just sort of eye popping here. So crews are Still has N Street closed between a uh, 15th Street closed between N and O. Uh, they haven't said when they're going to be reopening, but crews have just been busy around the city. This is just one of the a few calls that we've heard. There's a lot of fallen tree branches elsewhere where crews have just sort of been overextended where they can't get to. So they're just going slowly by slowly as the winds have been causing a lot of problems uh, since we've been here. It's been about 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts, so it's been difficult for crews to work. Uh, but right now they've been busy to try to get 15th Street open, Alicia. And this is a good example of just how powerful those winds can be. Guards, Paul, we'll check back in with you soon. Thank you. And remember, it's going to be an active weather weekend, so be sure to download the free ABC 10 app to stay informed about the wind, rain and snow. We'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to turn on your notifications as well.